video I'm going to quickly show you how you can start to format your Twine story by changing the background colour or image. So this is the story that I've already finished and what I'm going to do is just go down to the name of the story down in the corner here and I'm going to edit the story style sheet. When you click on that you can see that it pops up with this little box and it says any CSS entered here will override the default appearance. Okay, so I'm just going to pop to my cheat sheet now and you can see I've already got some script here for it. So this is called HTML, which is a language we use to make web pages. And I'm just going to grab this and just copy it. Obviously, you'll need to type it, and it needs to be very similar to this. You can't make mistakes in HTML, so you have to spell things correctly. So I'm just going to paste this in, and you see it starts with the word body, and then we've got curly brackets. And you'll note that it says background color. Because HTML is American, the spelling of color, you just need to be aware of, doesn't have the U. Now here is what's called a hex code for colour. Now if you want to find some interesting colours, a great site for this is called colour.adobe.com and that will give you uh, a colour mixing tool that lets you pick some really, really interesting colours for your background. So if I just run this now just to show you what it looks like. Now I might decide I want the Nexus School background, so I'm just going to put this in. There we go. And that's my code. So let's just run it and see what that looks like. Just waiting for my story to load. And you can see I've got the Nexus Blue as my background now. Now, I don't have to remember those codes because HTML is pretty clever. So I can just type in a color. There we go. And you see it does it, it goes purple if it recognizes what I've typed. So if I just refresh that now. and we should see that I've got a yellow background. Now, coming back to the color wheel chooser, this is a great site look because what you can do is you can mix a color just by dragging around these here and it gives you that hex code in this area here, look if you can see. So that's how you can get a color off the internet if you want to mix one. 